So this is gonna be a very interesting video and I wanted to film this simply because my experience with the VR, and I'm talking extremely realistic VR, uh, the VR hangover that I had after, as I'm calling it that, then I'm gonna talk about a little bit later, essentially was something so interesting and even borderline frightening that I wanted to do this video simply because of like say you're experiencing what I'm experiencing and they found a lot of studies that a lot of people might be, you know, whatever the case is, I wanted this video and talk about essentially post VR sadness and my first experience essentially with a VR hangover. So I do have a link this below to a video when I tried extremely realistic VR for the first time. It was a HTC Vive hooked up to a uh, Alienware computer that was VR enabled. And it was different than like the Oculus Rift or something like that. And I remember putting it on and being like, and I'm gonna try not to swear in this, but I was like, holy effing sugar honey iced tea. like this is ridiculous and I did a program called Tilt Brush and I actually felt like I was there and I could move around and do all these cool little things. It, it was like beyond mind blowing, it was ridiculous. And I did it for not a while, but maybe like 10, maybe 15 minutes maximum. So nothing lengthy at all. And after I took off the headset, I started to feel very weird. When I remember using my phone and typing on my phone and then not feeling like real to me you know I almost visually felt like the phone like something visually about the phone was different almost like I was like hallucinating or like tripping on some type of psychedelic drug it was a really weird sensation in addition for the hour afterwards I felt very disconnected from reality I felt like that what if the world around me is maybe like for example maybe I'm wearing a VR headset right now and maybe like the world around me is fake I kind of started to have like weird thoughts like I was in like the matrix or inception we're like, this isn't real, is a very, very weird and just scary, honestly, feeling, especially because there was a couple points where I almost had like a panic attack because I felt like just out of it, like I wasn't myself or like, you know, really intensely started to question like the nature of my reality. It was really bizarre. A couple of days after, I still felt like a little bit remnants of it, but not obviously as intense. And I did a ton of research and call and found out that They've actually been finding, especially the more realistic the VR, they've actually been finding that people have been experiencing this. It's not just me, and a lot of people have been experiencing this. And they call it, I guess, the psychological term of the disorder that other people can have, not even just VR related, but in general, is called DPDR, depersonalization dash derealization. And essentially, what it is, and obviously it's like a two part disorder uh, that you may have one more than the other. It's essentially when one, you you can't grasp reality and two you start to question the nature of who you are like the nature of like oneself so to speak you know and obviously this has been a huge topic in movies and philosophy and stuff like that but i think the interesting thing with vr is that when you take off that headset and obviously everyone's different in terms of how you react the quote-unquote hangover the average is very interesting now i've seen two parts of this um especially doing like a lot of research one part is that some people start to feel a bit depressed in the sense that when you're doing virtual reality, you're like a god. You can control everything. You can only have any environment that you want. And uh, um, not to be taboo, but literally everything from, you know, porn with an extremely attractive male or female, whatever you're into, all the way to you doing some crazy athletic thing, to you doing something artsy like I was doing, like toe brush, whatever the case is, you're able to completely experience any reality you can think of. So there's actually been a lot of people feeling sad or depressed after VR. I will say this, I didn't feel that way. Uh, I, I love my life and well, VR was cool and everything. Honestly, like you, like I knew what I was doing. I'm like, this is cool being godlike, so to speak. But to be honest, you know, I, I like, I love my life. So I didn't really experience the sadness, but I definitely experienced the DPDR, basically the feeling of afterwards questioning reality, what is reality and stuff like that. And so... Obviously, it'll be very interesting to see what happens as the future unfolds. And I think the big, from my perspective, the big interesting thing about it is there's been a lot of reports of people feeling nauseous after using VR. I felt that a little bit in the beginning and it kind of wore off. So obviously, it's something you become accustomed to. And I think a lot of people have no problem talking, saying, hey, I felt like I was going to throw up. You know, that's a very common feeling. But saying, hey, I felt like I couldn't grasp reality afterwards I think that's obviously a lot harder of an emotion to put into words, especially to people who might not completely understand where you're coming from. And so I think as a result of that, it's indicative that this is something I think a lot more people are experiencing. And especially as VR gets more popular, it's something that's gonna be a lot more common as the years unfold. And as in addition to VR gets way more realistic, because obviously the goal of VR is to completely mimic reality in all five senses, you know? So it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens and unfolds in the future. Um, 
I will say when it comes to the whole VR hangover, it definitely wears off. Uh, like, obviously, in hindsight, even now as I'm talking about this with the video, part of me is like, wow, I'm an idiot. Like, why do I feel that way, you know? And I guess that's like anything, you know? Um, in hindsight, it's always easier to say that. Uh, and in addition, they've also found that people who do VR a lot, eventually that feeling of DPDR eventually starts to wear off. In the sense that it's your brain just trying to get acclimated to the incredibly virtual or incredibly realistic VR. And the more you do it, the more your brain gets better distinguishing or distinguishing uh, VR from actual reality. But I mean, who knows, you know? So once again, I do want to say that, that I guess they call it getting your quote unquote VR legs is the term that I saw, but I don't know. But anyway, that was basically my experience with my first VR hangover. Super weird, super interesting as well. Um, I'm personally very excited to see where VR will head to. You know, I'm very, very fascinated by it, very, very curious, even though for me being a DJ music producer, obviously I love entertainment and media and art in general, and it's going to be interesting. It, it's, I think, a bit scary, but a bit exciting all at the same time. You know, that duality, I think, of both emotions, uh, and to be able to feel both those emotions about what's going to happen with VR. Because obviously it's only 2017, it's only going to get more realistic, you know, it's going to be nuts. So, but... Did you want to do that video essentially? Uh, describe my VR hangover, especially if other people have had the same thing. But let me know, especially if you've had a VR hangover too, what your experience was in the comments. I'd love to hear about it, especially because everybody's viewpoint is different. But let's see what happens, I guess, moving forward with what VR basically has to offer and if the VR hangover will become more prominent or if there's a way to mitigate it. We'll see what happens.